is going to be starting for the Chicago Bears in 2021 at every single position, both on offense, defense, and special teams. What's the depth chart looking like at every position? I'm here to talk about that and much more. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, please make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure you are following me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video. You see the whiteboard behind me, you know it's time to go ahead and put it to use. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so here we go on the whiteboard behind me. As you can tell, it is uh, very much filled out and it might be a little clustered and hard to tell, but I will walk you through it all, all right? So taking a look at the depth chart for the Bears, taking a look at the starters here, I've pretty much got it, it listed out in that way. So we start with the offense, right? Everybody wants to know, all right, Fives, what are the starters on the offense? What's the depth looking like? So here we go for this upcoming season in 2021. Um, this is, I believe, the depth chart. So the starters are going to be the listed first on the very left-hand side, and then behind them are their uh, notable backups or who I project to be the backups, all right? So, and, and it's just down the line, right? One, two, three, four for the depth chart. Quarterback Andy Dalton, again, we expect him to start. Could Justin Fields start? Yes, but I believe Nagy and Pace, their master plan is to stash away Justin Fields, who is their prized possession, and take the Alex Smith, Patrick Mahomes route and not play him all 2021 until he's ready. All right. Like I said, could he play if Dalton is awful and Dalton gets hurt or something crazy happens? Yeah, but I'm not expecting it. That's why I've got Andy Dalton as a starter behind him, Justin Fields, and then obviously a Nick Foles and if Nick Foles ever sees the field and uh yeah I don't know if that's a, a very good thing for the Chicago Bears it's not so you get my point all right moving on to the running back all right we've got David Montgomery duh our bell cow running back behind him Tariq Cohen then we got Damian Williams and then uh Khalil Herbert the running back that we just drafted um so a pretty stacked running back room if you will we've got plenty of depth here which we did not have last season okay Last season, it was Monty or bust, right? If Monty's done, then we're over with. We have Cordero Patterson at running back. Now we actually have guys that actually play the position uh, at running back as the backups to Monty, all right? Wide receiver, Allen Robinson, obviously, our number one stud wide out. Darnell Moody behind him. And then Marquise Goodwin, I believe, is going to be the number three receiver. And then I also have Daz Newsom here, fourth on the depth chart. Now you might be wondering, where is Anthony Miller? Where is... Riley Ridley, I don't know if they're going to be on the roster. Uh, quite frankly, Riley Ridley could, but he never plays, so it doesn't really matter. And Anthony Miller, look, I, I just think the Bears are fed up with him. I, I think they want to move on, and they will probably look to trade him or cut him. Could he end up on the roster? Sure, but I'm predicting that he does not. And if he were to be on the roster, he would probably be number three, uh, or number four behind either Mooney or Goodwin, all right? We know he's very inconsistent, inconsistent but that is what I have as the wide receiver uh, depth chart in the starters. All right, tight end, Cole Komet, Jimmy Graham. I have Jimmy, Jimmy Graham as the backup now. Cole Komet, I think he's going to step into a starting role. If you still think Cole Komet's going to be a backup, sure, I won't argue with you there. Behind him, we do have depth in, in like a J.P. Holtz, Jess Force, et cetera, but it, they're not going to see the field much. It's really... Cole Komet and Jimmy Graham that are going to be on the field 99% of the time as the tight end. All right, here we go. Offensive line, big topic that people want to talk about. What is the starters looking like? What are the starters looking like for the offensive line? So um, here we go. Right guard. I've got uh, Cody White here. Now you might be thinking Cody White here should be at center. No, uh, Sam Mustafer played very well last year at center. That's why I have him there at center. Uh, Jermaine Afidi, again, not the biggest fan of him, but he is who we have best available at the right tackle spot. James Daniels, left guard. Obviously, that is a, a good spot for us with James Daniels coming back from injury. And then, obviously, we've got our rookie uh, stud. Um, yeah, well, I think he's going to be a stud offensive lineman in a Tevin Jenkins at the left tackle position. So that, I believe, is going to be the starters for the offensive line. I have backups behind them. Again, Larry Borum, I think, a backup and play multiple positions, and these guys are interchangeable. But as far as the line, that is what I have for the Chicago Bears. All right, so there we go. Let's move on over to the defense, and then I'll come back down to the special team. So defensively, 
All right, starting at the top here, defensive end. And again, this might be a little difficult to see with the glare. I apologize, Akeem Hicks. Um, and then we've got Blackson behind him, nose tackle. Eddie Goldman's coming back, so we love that. And then we've got Tonga, the rookie that we drafted this year, uh, depth behind him. Uh, Bilal Nichols, uh, the other defensive end, on the right side, Mario Edwards, was a surprise for us as a free agent pickup. Uh, we get to the linebacking core. Of course, you got your stud pass rusher, Khalil Mack. Uh, you got a Atuchua that we picked up in free agency, I believe, from the Broncos. And, and then you got Travis Gibson, uh, who was a rookie, I believe, last year. So uh, some good depth there. Uh, obviously, we've got Roquan Smith. Then we've got uh, Danny Trevathan, Robert Quinn. You know our studs, obviously, okay? Jalen Johnson at the corner spot. Desmond Trufant, who we signed in the offseason at the other corner spot. Safety, tra tra excuse me, uh, Tayshawn Gibson. And then Eddie Jackson. So obviously we're missing Kyle Fuller because he is no longer on the team. Uh, so he is replaced by Desmond Trufant, which is a downgrade for sure. But uh, there you have it, okay? And uh, yeah, that's kind of how the... Um, Cornerback room is shaking out. Now, again, I could put Thomas Graham here at the cornerback spot, right? We drafted him. But I just don't know how much playing time he's going to get right away. So maybe I should just include that. Um, but that's kind of how the defense is shaking out. And then finally, special teams kicker, Caro Santos, our stud kicker, uh, punter, Pat O'Donnell, and then punt return, kick return again. I, I put down Mooney, Miller, and New Newsom. It could be any of those three. Again, I have Anthony Miller here, and I don't have him up here, which is weird, but uh, point is, it's probably going to be one of these. Maybe it could be Tariq Cohen, but I doubt it. So that's kind of how the roster is shaking out, folks. So uh, again, let me know what you guys think. Um, anything standing out for you? Anything that you guys are surprised by, not surprised by? I mean, taking a look here, um, you know, I don't really see the rookies contributing right away. Obviously, I think Justin Fields will sit. Um, you know, obviously, the offensive linemen will contribute. Uh, the running back, Khalil Herbert, he's fourth on the depth chart. Daz Newsom's fourth on the depth chart. Um, cornerback, he's buried on the depth chart. So the rookies are going to contribute right away in 2021. But later down the line, they will absolutely be big-time contributors. We just have to stay patient with them. All right, so there you have it, folks. The offensive, defensive, and special team starters uh, in depth chart for the Chicago Bears for the upcoming 2021 season. Now we'll continually update this for you guys as we get closer to the season. So keep a lookout for that. With that being said, as always, thanks for watching.